Hii leo makala ya shujaa wa wiki tumefunga safari gumosi gupili hadi katika afisi uh, ya binti moja mrembo hapa umri wa miaka 30 anaitwa Kezia Wairimo. Sasa hii ni afisi ya Kezia Wairimo. Hapa pameandikwa Keshine Investment Company Limited. Anahusika mno na masuala mbalimbali ambayo yanahusu mashamba na mambo hayo wazungu wanaita real estate akiwa na afisi yake hapa katika uh, bila shaka kaunti ya Nakuru akifanya shughuli nyingi tu katika kaunti ya Nakuru uh, na vile vile maeneo ya kule Malindi katika kaunti ya Kilifi atakuwa anatueleza hadithi yake kidogo tutakuwa na jaribu kuweza kufahamu mawili matatu wajua si rahisi kumpata binti ambaye anafanya mambo yanayohusu mashamba mimi anaitwa Dalmas Sakali. Labda kezia tuanze kwanza. Hujambo, hali namna gani? Salama sana. Mhm. Mm kwa majina yangu naitwa Kezia Elimu Juna. Ina umri wa miaka 30. Mhm. Ah, uh, mimi ni mwanabiashara. Pia mimi ni daktari, hutibu watu. Ah, uh, nianza hii shughuli miaka tano iliyopita. Ah, uh, nilikuwa nimeajiriwa kidogo nikaacha kazi. Then nikaanza kazi ya kwa kwa kizungu tunaita brokers ama agenting mm -hmm. nikaanza on my status nikaanza ku post na uza plot ilikuwa tu mzaha mzaha tu mm -hmm. nikaanza nikaanza ku pro, kama ni kuuza plots tu una i don't i didn't know much about kuuza plots mm -hmm. so nikaanza ku ku post nikiambia watu na uza plot then and the first thing we can make a profit of around nikauza two plots mm -hmm. actually i sold them to one of them directors ana ilikuwa ya lecturer so mm -hmm. akanunua nikapata commission on 100,000 mm -hmm. my first sale wow before i got there it has been a journey maana um kampuni nilifungua kampuni jina kampuni the kesha actually jina kesha is derived from kezia then you shine when you connect with kezia una shine mm -hmm. so it hasn't been easy nikarejesta kampuni nikarejesta all the documents na kumka mshahara yangu ya pili spend 20000 kufungua documents zote za kampuni nikabaki na 5k nikalipa rent nikaanza ku struggle tena mm -hmm. so in my mind i was a director of a company that was very zero alikuwa like na kitu but i was praying god that one day one time it shall shine somewhere mm -hmm. sasa wakati una shine shine namna hii ume shine kwa muda gani kampuni imekuepo kwa muda gani kupitia uh, sasa tumekuwa kwa muda wa miaka tano but tumejulikana I think from last year ndo tumeanza kujulikana kidogo and it happened wakati sana niamua kuingia marketing actually tulikuwa na ofisi kidogo hapo opposite Kenya Power ndio tulikuwa tunafanyia before tuhamia hapa so pia ni bidii na kujitahidi juu it's a male dominated industry so most unapata una deal na wanaume na si kazi rahisi nakwambia you have to be strong you have to be like i want this and i want this uh, again challenges me unapata when you're dealing with men unapata first of all they don't respect you being a woman i remember kuna client nenda kupeleka kuuza shamba ya kwanza proti kanaambia kwa wapi mwenye shamba nikamwambia ni mimi alifanya kichwa hivi so kwanza inamaanisha hakuwa naamini hakuwa naamini naweza kuwa mwenye shamba at my age it hasn't been easy although mimi hujiamini sana juu nimepitia shida nyingi kutoka utotoni mwangu Mm -hmm. yeah. Kezia ukitueleza tuko ufupi umesema miaka mitano mm -hmm. na ile nipeleka katika swali naona afisi nzuri mm -hmm. kila kitu kinaonekana shwari mm -hmm. hivi siri imekuwa ni gani kwa muda huo miaka mitano Ah uh, mimi ningependa kusema kwamba uh, kwa kazi ya mashamba ni vizuri kuwe mwaminifu to your clients most tunapata wana biashara wengi wenye kat, wenye biashara ya mashamba they not trust you the unaweza uzia mmoja this product to this client then upata unauzia mwingine again Uh, I'll specialized before we move to the next project I make I make sure all my clients they have their titles so hiyo nayo ni jambo nimeweza kunijenga kibiashara juu kwa uaminifu unapata like before I sell the next project hii ya kwanza nishapeana title so ime ni build so unapata mwenye nimeuzia plot ya kwanza ananilifaa kwa mwingine na nilifaa kwa mwingine I may not have 1000 clients but the one I have that maybe 100 or 200 the potential client unapata because nimekuwa nikiwa serve kwa njia inayofa shujaa wetu wa wiki kumbuka ni kezia wa elimo ambaye ana kampuni yake na wanafanya mambo ya kuuza mashamba hapa na pale hawajua kuna watu wengine ambao wamejaribu shughuli hizi lakini hazileti 
unazifanyaje tofauti wewe acha nikwambie kazi ya mashamba ni ngumu juu uh, it needs patience ukwe mwenye mvumilivu and again uh, ha like for me i'm celebrating five years nilianza mwaka mmoja wa pili wa tatu wa nne wa tano hapo ndo naona matunda sasa so mimi naweza sema ni pia bid na kuto give up not giving up hivi inachukua mtu muda gani kuweza kufikia hatua kama hizi na unaweza ukasema kwamba uh, najua imekuwa ni bottom up sio mm-hmm. tueleze kidogo ah ni kweli ni bottom up maana <laughs> where i used to live mahali nilikuwa naishi before ni he tuseme hata nyumba yenyewe pia tusiongelele sana tunaenda kuiona but uh, let's say it's all about patience na BD kutia BD kwenye kazi yako. Mimi mm-hmm. msiuamka saa kumi saa kumi saa kumi na unusu ndio mimi huamka. Naingia kwenye mtandao na market plot zangu before niende hiyo kazi nyingine. Mm-hmm. So tabi na jani kwa miaka mitano kwenye hii kazi ya mashamba. Kuna wakati mwingine tuko chini una hata pesa kulipa mishahara, una pesa kulipa ofisi but all the same mtu ujinua tu. Jua watu wengi wanaona kwamba umefikia hatua hii lakini hawajui kwamba imekuwa safari ya muda gani. Mm. Kabla uanze shughuli hizi zako za au wakala wa mashamba na mambo kama hayo, mm. ulikuwa ukifanya nini? Labda tueleze kidogo hatua kwa hatua kwa muda mchache iwezekanavyo mm. hadi ukafikia nafasi ya sasa. Mm-hmm. Tuseme after kumaliza shule ya Egerton, ningefanya mass communication na nika graduate 2016. After hapo nikajiona na kampuni, nikafanya kazi miezi mitatu then tukua campus tulikuwa tuna group ya ku save 200 yenye tulikuwa tunaenda like as a, I was the secretary so tulikuwa tunaenda tutafuta mashamba that's why i got the interest ya yeah, kunene mashamba so after hapo nikaona wakati tulienda tu, ayo the chairman second and treasurer tukapata like tume, tumenua shamba ya group tumepewa 10k 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 hizi ni haya kuna pesa hapa why can't i try this tuone maitanifikisha mm. so after campus nikajirua 3 months then nikaingia into agenting hapo usiku na proti zangu wa mashamba rangu nilikuwa naenda naongea na mwenye shamba ni said day shamba ni kuuzie tupata client to pay commission uh, unasema kwamba kabla ufikie hapa mm-hmm. yalikuwa ni machozi mahali ulikuwa kishi eh hey, tutaenda tujionee maana um, i used to sleep huko chini uh, wakati nilikuwa shule ni actually watu wa nyumbani kwetu after nilipita mtihani si kupata grade za kwenda direct campus so ibidi nifanyiwe harambe ndio niingie shule so wakati niingia shule maisha ikawa ngumu after first year. Sasa yeye nikapata kazi ya IBC na help kidogo na second year maisha ikawa ngumu. Mm-hmm. So mwaka kwanza nilikuwa naishi kwa aunti yangu so nikabidi baka nikose transport from Kiondo hadi hadi shule Egerton a school in Egerton campus town campus. So hiyo transport ikakosekana. Nikaona hekitafuta kanyumba kidogo niwe naishi hapo. Mm-hmm. He hapo he, let's say nikiwa second year pomedo mambo ikawa ngumu hata kupata chakula kilikuwa kingumu. Mm-hmm. Time, I remember I'm not trying na Mungu anione. Kuna siku nilala bila food, bila hata maji. Maybe uko na unga, hauna mafuta ya. Last time used to cook with it was stove. Kona hizo. Una mafuta ya hiyo stove, hauna. Kama uko na mafuta unajua kama kama uko na unga, hauna mafuta. Yaani maisha ya campus uko ni survival for the fittest. So he, nikaanza sasa kufanya kazi nilikuwa second year. Hapo sasa ndo nianza kufanya kazi niko fanya kazi kwa listen ni club hata si ni bus stop restaurant so nilikuwa nafanya shift ya usiku kutoka saa mosi nilikuwa naingia saa 6 jioni ndoka 6 asubuhi so nilikuwa naomba Mungu at least class moja ibounce class moja ibounce ndio niende shule ndio ni at least nipate tu hours ya, ya, ya kupata usingizi uh-huh. that's has been my life baka nikafika that year second semester uh-huh. Huu ndo mtaa maarufu wa Bangladesh wenyewe anaita Bangla. Mtaa maarufu kweli kweli hapa Nakuru. Ha, maisha yalikuwa magumu. Hmm? Ni hapa. Hivi sasa sasa hivi hi? ni store. Ni store hata kuingiliki huko kabisa. Hata kuingiliki ni hapa. Sasa but... ulikuwa ki ini room moja sio? Ni karum kamoja kadogo. Unitoshia tukitana peke yake hapa. Hii ndio ile ukistretch miguu inatoka nje. Jiani eh. <laughs> <laughs> Labda ukija hapa kidogo tu kezia usimamie mm-hmm. uh, hapa hapa nje. Mm-hmm. Unapo unapoangalia pale ulikukiishi mm-hmm. na pale ambapo unaishi sasa mm-hmm. una una wewe oh, unajihisi vipi? Najua wakati mwingine inakuwa so emotional. Naona hata una, kidogo una inakuwa na hisia nyingi sana sio? Yeah. Um <laughs> hii nyumba iko na it has its own dreams maana mtu asikiendia hapa ndo nikuja 
my mom angeza kunilipia nyumba na nilipia school fees na pia nyumbani kulikuwa na viruge nyumbani maana saba kachana na babangu mm-hmm. so mom was trying to raise school fees for the other kids na mimi nilikuwa najaribu kungangana nipate chakula mm-hmm. na pia niwe naweza kulipa nyumba na niwe shuleni mm-hmm. life was very hard ah uh, i had to work at night mm-hmm. nilikuwa nafanya kwa hoteli pole pole nilikuwa nafanya kwa hoteli usiku tedious unachoka maana unajua hakazi hotel usimami ni kukutembea kupelekea customer mm-hmm. then the worst of all days kuna wakati nitoka kazi usiku saa tisa mm-hmm. saa saba tulikuwa tunatoka shift inaisha saa nane so, saa sita so but basi kiwaleta ina drop karibu saa saba saa nane sasa hiyo time the landlord ndio yule alikuwa anaishi hapa that time mm-hmm. kumbe kuna wezi new uh, that time ni mwa baka ka gas na ka laptop ndio niweze kusoma na pia nikikata usiku at least niweze kuoka na maji moto so kuna wezi wa iruka that one pole 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 kenzia so uh, akinifungulia no. gate na wakumbi walikuwa washaingia kwa hii nyumba so nilipata watu pigana na yeye so nikuja kuosha ni saa usiku nimekuja kuosha madamu ndio niweze kulala hiyo siku almost killed myself pole, pole. i asked god mbona why all this uh, but tuseme tu kuna Mungu. Wese kuna Mungu na pia ukitia bidii na uombe you can. Uh, uh, labda najua hisia nyingi uh, na kumbuka mambo mengi. Lakini kuna mtu ambaye anaishi nyumba kama hii na hata mm. labda duni zaidi. Kuna yule yeah. hata hana makazi, mm. hana pa kuishi. Mm. Hivi unaweza kumwambiaje kwamba wewe umetoka katika kiwango kama hiki na maisha yako kidogo yakapevuka. Mm. Unaweza kumwambia vipi mtu kama huyo? Mimi naweza mu encourage na nimwambie kuna Mungu na pia tia bidii. If you are sure shine shine in it. Kama unaosha viatu osha kwa bidii. Kama una unalima nyumbani lima kwa bidii maana Mungu bali kazi ya mikono ya mtu. Pia not giving up na kujiua si solution. Especially kwa youths wenzangu kama mimi. Most of them they are into drugs. Na unapata shida kidogo hivi inafanya ujiue. I can encourage them not to give up in life and also not there is no shortcut in success and it is not sexually transmitted. So hiyo time nikiisha hapa nilikuwa tu nilikuwa tu mdogo ningeoga tu niende huko nje ningepata pesa kutoka kwa wanaume but i didn't do that so i can encourage them jiamini kwanza enyewe sahi kazi ni kazi bora mtu azindikishe maisha but again you need to kuji kuji we mwenyewe useme i will make it in life uji encourage maana kazi especially sahi Kenya hakuna kazi so nyewe unapata kidogo do it to your best wakati unaweza msema to my daughter wakati alikuja kutafuta nyumba vile nilimtazama tu alikuwa amebeba mafuta hiko kitanda hapo nayo na vyombo chache sasa kwa mtazama kwa ile roho ya huruma tu nikasema huyu anaweza kuwa ni kama my daughter na tukiwajenga wanasema ukiinua mtoto msichana naye atainua jamii na nafurahia sana yeye ni mtu akukumbuka na tazama mahali alikotoka na hiyo ndio matunda naweza sema matunda sasa nai na kula naomba we, wengine wetu kama sema landladies landlords waangalie watoto wale wanakuja shuleni waachukulie kama ni watoto wao mimi shukrani kutenga nafasi kwa nasi Mie naitwa Dalmas Sakali. Makala bila shaka ni shujaa wa wiki hadi Juma kesho Mwenyezi Mungu akijalia siku zote lianzalo si unajua tena lazima nitamatike. Shukran kwa heri.